Hi everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and today we're going to talk about the state of our union. And when I say our union, I mean our internal union. So that's what we're going to look at today. So whenever I look at the state of my union, where I am, I, on my own journey through this reality, I look at a couple of things. Now I've said before that the outside is just reflection of the inside. So I always look first at outside because it's going to reflect what's going on inside. So if I want just, if I feel like everything's okay inside, but I want to look around outside to see what else could be going on that maybe I'm not ready to see yet. Because sometimes I'll get a lot of stuff that I'm not really ready to look at yet, but the outside will reflect it back because it will pick up what's going on inside and it'll show it back to me. So if I'm trying to clear disrespect, I will get a lot of people being disrespectful. I'll see, sometimes it'll be a collective clearing of disrespect, but I'll see it in the collective. And then I can see if it affects me in any way. If I'm triggered by that in any way, then I know I've got that in my cellular memory and I have to clear disrespect. But if I see it in my immediate, I know that I'm carrying disrespect, which means I'm also disrespectful to other people in some form. Because I can't get disrespect if I'm not disrespectful. It's a matchy-matchy. That's how it's always going to work. So we can't judge it. I mean, I do a lot of videos on judgment because it is... I feel like that's probably the deepest thing of everything we go through is we judge it all. We say, oh, that's, that's good, that's bad, that's right, that's wrong. It's, it's nothing in a sense, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we see it and we're conscious enough to see it, we're conscious enough to look at it, we're conscious enough to say, okay, what about me though? Spray it back to me, what about me? <laughs> what is it showing me? Because that's what all it's really supposed to do is show us. It doesn't really matter who's playing the game out and wh who plays which character in your movie. They're just showing you something. So let's decode it and see what they're showing us. So look outside. See what's going outside. And sometimes I can also tell if I, if I am looking at other people, what's going on inside, looking at what's going on outside with them. So let's say you're looking outside and everything seems pretty peaceful. You know you're in it. Now this does not mean you have nothing else to clear. It just means you're in a space where in this moment your vibration is sort of aligning with what's outside. Now as your vibration begins to rise and your consciousness rises and we hold that long enough, that higher, I don't like higher and lower, but that different state of consciousness, other things will start to pop up in your reality that now don't match your new consciousness level. So if in a minute ago, everything was fine, a week ago, and now, holy crap, everything's coming down on me. It's one thing right after the other. It means a couple of things. One, you're trying to clear the energy. It doesn't match inside anymore. It's showing you you have to get rid of it. So you're going to be faced with situations that either it's going to bring up anger, it's going to bring up blame, it's bring up hurt, it's going to bring up jealousy, it's going to bring up judgment. It doesn't really matter what it brings up. Just look at what's going on. Look at how it makes you feel. Look at the state of your union with yourself. And that's gonna show you so much about where, where you're at. So I can have, I, I could be going to a place a hundred times and have an amazing time every time I go. And then I'll get to a period where I can't even go there anymore because it's so much disrespect there. And it was no different than any of the other times I went. I just reached a point where now my vibration is different and everything that was distorted before I couldn't see, now I can see it. Now we have to figure out what we're going to do with it. I've said that a couple of times in these videos. It's not so much to know, oh yeah, that's disrespectful. What am I going to do about that? I have to align it. It's my responsibility to align my life. It's nobody else's. I have to look at what's going on and say, okay, is this what I want? How can I align this in the kindest way? Kindness to me and kindness to the other people. This doesn't mean we rant and rave and kick our heels. That's what the human does. That's not what we do when we're trying to align something on the highest level. Something else that might be going on? If you don't feel good. If you're not feeling well physically, people will say, oh, I'm sick. 
You're not sick, you're clearing. There's no sickness when you get to higher levels of um, consciousness. It's just clearing. You're clearing it from your cellular memory. If you're having a lot of respiratory and lungs, that's grief. You're clearing a lot of grief from your cellular memory. So we can clear it. Sometimes we can look at it all. Usually for me, I see it crash outside first, and then I, I'll have an issue where I don't feel good and it starts coming up from inside. So normally I hold the consciousness long enough. The outside world, world starts to show me what's distorted and what has to be aligned. And then I have to work on that. And I have to figure out how I'm going to align it because if not, it's just going to get worse and worse till it just, just crumbles down completely on top of me. And I've had that happen. So trust me, there's no judgment who that's happened to because that's happened to me. It's just, I learned, I learned from getting the, the baseball bat upside the head a couple of times that it's better to align it now than wait to see the final curtain call on it. So I usually will see it go awry outside. I'll align it. I'll close the reality out. I'll do what feels appropriate for everyone involved. I will exit the reality sometimes. It depends on what, what it's appropriate to do. You'll know what you can do. You'll know what it's appropriate to do. Just don't hide from it. You can say, I can't deal with it right now because I'm not in the space to align it. That's different than I'm gonna pretend like it's not there. So usually I'll go through some period like that and then I don't feel good. And then I'll either have stomach, which is self-worth. I'm clearing self-worth. I'll have some kind of like stomach things going on. I'll have respiratory stuff going on. You know, just don't be surprised. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I went to this retreat and I came back and I got sick. Well, you raise your consciousness and everything that was no longer of an older consciousness, an older, older pattern in your body has to come out. It can't stay in there. It's like you're rotor rootering your cells. And anything that's not of that consciousness, anything, it has to go because your body can't raise. We can raise our consciousness all we want to, but our body has to raise. So once we go through the raising of our consciousness, looking outside, kind of to see what's going on and watching our reality start trying to align on their own. And then we do our best to try to help with that. And now we turn around and then we don't feel good. <laughs> So just if you're in a phase where you don't feel good, look at what's going on, you know, look at what parts of your body are trying to clear. And you can also ask, what is this about? What am I trying to get rid of? So just look at the state of your union. Look what's bothering you. Even if it's not affecting you, I think I touched on this earlier, if it's not affecting you specifically, but you keep seeing a news story and it bothers you, it's, it's, it's yours. It's, it's something you have to look at because it bothering you for a reason. You know, we can go through life every day and just for telling, oh, humdrum, blah, 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 this happens every day. Nothing happens twice, in a sense. You only have an experience one time. You might have something come around again, but the experience will never be the same again. It's not supposed to be. You're different. You're going to view it differently. It's kind of like when you're in a movie, you're watching a movie and you see a whole thing, the whole movie from one perspective, like it's a murder mystery, right? And then you get to the end and you figure out who done it. And then they go back and show you and they fill in all the gaps. Well, you're going to be filling in all the gaps the second time around you go through something. So you might be going through the same cycle of something and you might say, crap, I've seen this before and I'm seeing it again, but you're really not seeing the same thing again because you're going to look at it from a shifted perspective. So just be aware of that too. It's our responsibility to look at the state of our union. Don't apologize for it. Don't judge it. Look at the state of your union. If you want to scream and yell about something, go scream and yell about it. Get it out of your body. If you're angry, be angry. You don't have to project it at anybody. I always tell people don't project it. That's not kind. It is because it's our stuff. Me projecting on someone else, that's just beating somebody up for no reason. You know, you'll also seeing realities close out because contracts are complete. And you can have a new agreement with someone. So don't judge anything that you're feeling. Look at what's going on. Take accountability and responsibility for the state of your union and keep practicing the art of intuition.